Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm here to do day two of the seven days of giveaways. And again, I just wanna thank you guys so much for following along with my journey and encouraging me along the way. It's been huge and I wouldn't be able to have 20,000 subscribers or do any of the stuff that I am doing without you guys. So thank you guys so much again. And if you're not already following me and on Instagram, make sure to go follow me. That's where all of these giveaways are taking place. And I've had a few questions about that. There are a lot of rules relating to YouTube giveaways. So a lot of people decide to do giveaways on Instagram and I, I really interact with you guys the most through Instagram, so that's kind of why I'm doing it. So if you're not already on Instagram, sign up. It's super easy. Um, if you guys are not super familiar with it, I could even leave like a link, a direct link to each day's post if that makes it easier. Um, I just don't want anyone not to be able to do it just because they're not familiar with Instagram or anything like that. So like I said, all of these giveaways are hosted on Instagram. And I do have like a set thumbnail for each day. And so when you see that thumbnail for day two, that's what this giveaway will be for. So make sure you're commenting on the correct Instagram um, post. And I feel like it'll be pretty easy, but just wanted to remind you guys of that. And then um, again, I chose all of these items because I personally use them all the time. So um, part of this giveaway was to give back to you guys, but also to show you some of the products that I don't always show you guys that I use and just give you guys ideas of how to use them and all of that stuff. So um, I will have like your question for the day. Um, just to like give me some ideas for what you guys like. A lot of people really seemed to like the pastel color um, dual tip markers and it's just good to know because now I know if I do another giveaway that's a good option to get. So let's get into what I have for you guys for day two and then we can talk about how I use them and then what I want you guys to do um, or answer. So the first couple of things that I have are some sticky notes and I use these all the time. Um, not these specific ones, but like these in general, I love using Erin Condren sticky notes. Um, the nice thing about this one here, which these are the new, I believe these are the teacher, the teacher snap-in ones. These were like recently released and they're super cute. I love the pencils. I love that like there's a lot of space there's not a ton of decoration there's a lot of space to actually write on which is really nice but I love having these clipped into my life planner and I'll show you that in a second that way as things come up I can just put notes in my planner and I don't have to worry about forgetting it so these are super cute like I said they're the new Erin Condren teacher ones but um, they're pretty much the same sizes of other ones. They're not going to fit perfectly in the monthly view. They're not going to fit perfectly in like the hourly, but they'll work because really most people use these just to keep like a placeholder there. So that is the first item. And then the second thing that I have are, these are actually really new. These are the sticky, the tab sticky notes. And I use these a ton for my study stuff. So I'll show that to you guys in a second. The one downside about these are that they do not have the snap-in spot. But Erin Condren usually gives those um, adhesive ones that you can snap in your... Um, the little pack that they give you in the back of like the life planner. So you could always do that. Or I believe they also sell the little clip-in things online as well. So that's always an option. For me, I just keep them in my backpack and so it's not a huge deal. They don't need to be in my planner or my notebook. So those are the first couple of things. I always use these. I have a ton of them um, just in case I run out and she's always coming up with new designs. So of course, they're super cute. Then the next couple of things are um, items that I've recently been really into. So first thing, you guys probably saw this coming. Um, this is the teacher sticker pad and I'm going to open it up so I can just quickly walk through all of them and show you guys what you're getting um, if you win. So 
I use this extensively to set up my life planner and my budget planner when I recently got them. And so I'll show you that. I don't think I've ever shown you guys my life planner and how I set it up, but I'll show you guys that. So this sticker pad is definitely different than the sticker books that she has, um, just the design of them. But honestly, it works. It's the same type of stickers. There's, They're definitely going more towards like the see-through. Um, stickers which I don't know I'm they're fine I just haven't gotten super into them yet but um, it's always nice to have as an option so you have those like see-through options you have these which I think are definitely meant for the teacher planner but you could honestly use anywhere I use these a lot in my budget planner I can show you guys that in a second as well and then you get into a bunch of like event stickers the apples never um, hold me back because normally I can just cover it up with a different like decorative sticker and it works You have all the different foils. So here you have the gold These are all rose gold which you guys know are like my favorite. I love these these are perfect for like meetings But you could also use them. If you've seen my last plan with me. I used one for Macy's first day of school These are perfect too if you need to make lists I, I love those and I've seen a lot of people ask for these as like a separate option kind of the same thing just without lines and then you get into some of the quotes and some washi and then you have more of the see-through so you have apples and little teardrops then you have these which I have not found something like a way to use them but I feel like eventually I will and it'll be awesome but there are just Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday Friday I'm sure there's something in the teacher planner that makes sense with them but for now I have not figured out a way to use them and then more of the see-through and then we get back to so these are gold these I have used so much these are rose gold letters and they've come in really handy when setting up my planners um, just because my handwriting is not the best and I'm not good at cursive so when I try and like write big and make things look nice it never works so these have been like my default go-to things so you get two pages of them seriously there's so many letters on each page that like that's going to be plenty for you so that is the first sticker book which that one's new so that's exciting I'm gonna put this back and then I have a few more things included in the same giveaway I wanted to you guys are gonna kind of see a theme I wanted the first couple days I wanted to get the winners really set up for um, the the key item so the next thing is the always a reason and season to celebrate sticker book this is the designer sticker book monthly edition three and I'm sure you guys have seen this but I just want to quickly go through it and I personally like to have a couple of each sticker book just because sometimes there's washi and then you could use like it for a spread so you have each month and it has its own theme you could seriously use this as like your monthly layout or even if you just want to do like a weekly spread they're super pretty I did have the last year's version and I'm sure they'll come up with a new version soon for 2019 seriously so pretty though and I love how they like match the washi because then you could really use this as like a weekly spread you have May one thing that I'm also really happy about with this if you guys have seen I actually have the old sticker book here so this is the old version and the way that they used to have it is they used to have flags which is fine because that's actually I use like the rose gold flags I am seriously in love with that that script sticker I wish that they would sell those by themselves and that they would give you the option to do like whatever foil you want because those are perfect so you have and you have that every month but they alternate the color so I'm a huge fan of rose gold right now um, I like the other ones too but I wish that they were all in rose gold <laughs> so you have all of those options and you can see some of them match the washi that they um, the sticker sheets that they currently have in stock seriously so pretty 
and then December and that's it for the sticker book so definitely something that I love to have on hand and I'm sure they're gonna come up with a new one which will be exciting to see so that's that's that one and then we have one more that's going to be included in this day's giveaway and that is this sticker book I recently fell in love with this sticker book so I thought I definitely had to include it in and you guys know I'm really obsessed with Planner Kate I love Planner Kate um, but when I don't use Planner Kate I usually use Erin Condren sticker so definitely think that this is a good option when you're picking up some Erin Condren stuff. So you have, I think what I loved about this was all of the, the watercolor. I really love that in this. And I think there's a lot of rose gold as well. So you have your quote pages and then some, some other like event stickers. And it seems like in this, you have a lot of like, okay, this page is gonna be silver. This page is rose gold. This page is gold. And it kind of goes like that, which is nice because if you're looking for like a specific um, foiled color, you can definitely find it super easy. There's just so many options. And I feel like you almost have to come up with some type of system to know because I, I go back and I'm like, oh, that would have been perfect for what I was doing. But you, you know, you kind of forget sometimes what you have. These are interesting. They're like gift tags. So definitely a good option for the upcoming holidays. You could use some of those to put on gifts. The watercolors are just amazing. Like I said, I think that's why I kind of fell in love with this. Look at those. Those are so pretty. I love the blues. And then you have some of the washi strips that you could use. More washi, washi strips. And obviously you can tell with this sticker book, <clears throat> it was right around the painted petals. So I'm sure they'll come up with a new one of this as well at some point and then you have a bunch of the little icon stickers and that is it for that sticker book. So those are all the items that I have for you guys. Um, I definitely wanted to stock you guys up. Whoever was winning this, I wanted them to have a lot of the key essential sticker books and sticky notes and stuff like that because I definitely love having them and I think it's a really nice thing that Erin Condren offers. So here are all the items, again, that are included. And really on Instagram, what I want to know is what sticker book or sticky notes are you most excited for? So when I say answer the question, let me know which one. Again, it's a lot um, to do with like now I know. If people say like, oh, we love the teacher sticker book, then I know, okay, from now on, include that. Um, but it's also just interesting to see because for me, I don't know, it would be hard to choose. It would definitely be hard to choose. Lately, I've been loving these because you'll see in a second, I've been using them a ton. Um, but those are the things that are included. That's what I want you to answer. Just let me know which one of these you're most excited about if you win. And just let me know, like obviously, um, I told you guys what everything was. If you're not super sure, just you know, say the coral one or the blue one or whatever like that. Not, you don't have to be super specific. So I wanted to show you guys how I use some of the things. So the first thing, and I showed you guys this yesterday, but with the tabbed sticky notes, I currently use them in my, in my notebook for the CPA exam. And what I do is, as I'm going through, if there's anything that's like worth noting, like, okay, I keep getting the same topic wrong on the multiple choice, or oh, the simulation was very specific to a, like, you know, a topic, then I just use them so that I can go back and reference them in the future. The nice thing is there's only a part of it, it's probably a really small part of it you can kind of see there that's sticky. So you don't have to worry about it, you know, the tab part sticking to your dividers or anything like that. It works out really nice. And you have a couple different colors, so I like to like switch up things and kind of color coordinate. So you can see I have like a pink one here, I could use the pink one. I did orange for, or this is kind of like rose gold. I could use the yellow, that would go well with like the orange. It doesn't have to be super crazy, but in my mind it makes sense. So that's kind of what I like to use those for. And you can see I've also said review more because that's, I was getting that wrong a lot too. So it's just 
a nice way if you're studying or if you have like a planner and you want to like make sure that you reference something or go back to it it's just nice to have and if you don't need the little tab part and it bothers you, you could always cut it off and make it work for you so that is what i use that for <clears throat> in my life planner i use a lot of the sticky notes for my monthly view because as time has gone on i've been planning for about a year and a half now probably around the same amount of time that i've been on youtube i have kind of came up with a system that works for me instead of putting reminders on each page i like to just put them on my monthly view and that way when i'm doing my monthly plan with me i take the little sticky notes off put a sticker there and then i'm good to go and when i'm doing my plan with me's or you know if i'm not let's be honest i always do plan with me's every week so it's not that i am not going to do one but when i'm doing my plan with me's i always reference back to see what's going on that week so i don't forget anything so i love using the sticky notes there and like i said <clears throat> those would be perfect the fact that they overlap doesn't matter a ton i think i have a few in here yeah like macy's school pictures are on november 8th so if it's something that's going to overlap a little bit i always just write the date and that way it's good to go the nice thing about them being big as um one nice thing about them being bigger is that it stands out a lot more when you're looking at the page you're like oh wow that's huge like what is that so i kind of sometimes do that but not sometimes i don't do it super intentionally so those are the sticky notes and how i use the sticky notes then going into the actual stickers and really quickly i want to show you this is kind of my current setup so i have like an extra ruler in the front just in case I want to put it somewhere to like reference something later and then I have my sticky notes that's like my go-to thing mine when I got them the little coil part was broken so sometimes they snap out but usually they're really good about staying in and then we get into some of the decor that I did using the sticker book so you can see those are, that's the rose gold stickers that i was telling you guys about in the teacher planner so i just wrote my name out like i said that's way prettier than me like trying to write it out would not work and then i use them again like i said i really love when i have two sticky or two um sticker books because then you can use the same washi and kind of make it more uniform so this page in my life planner i just use it for important dates so you can see i have like a little key at the bottom cruise, summer Friday, CPA exams, holidays, and the green I actually just added. And this is all the days, that, these are all the days that Macy is going to be off of preschool. So you can see I use the sticker books a lot. I just, I haven't shared these a ton. And I use them again here. I have not filled these in. I was thinking about possibly getting one of those like little zip things and I just haven't done anything yet. So I haven't figured out exactly what I'm gonna do here. But I know Erin Condren does have that new option where you can like print little boxes. So maybe I'll do that. But regardless, you can see I use the sticker books quite a bit to set up my planner. And I did the same thing with my Deluxe Monthly for budgeting. They definitely come in handy when it comes to this stuff. But also with Plan With Me's. I think, let's see if I can find a week that I used some of the sticky notes or some of the stickers. I definitely use some of the Erin Condren stickers here. Um, some of these came from like st sticky pages. You can see I used um, one of the quote boxes here. Sometimes I'll do that depending on what's going on. And yeah, that is, I use, these are from the back of one of the um, life planners, I think. So you can kind of get the idea. I like to use them a lot when it comes to setting up my planners and planning and all of that fun stuff so anyway guys those are the items that are included in this day's giveaway like i said make sure to go on instagram and find day two's post it's it's going to be marked the same thing as day one but it'll say day two instead and let me know what your favorite item is what you're most excited to use and let, let me really quickly just walk through again what is included so the first thing are the teacher sticky notes, and then we have the tab sticky notes, 
We have the teacher sticker pad. We have the monthly collection um, designer sticker book edition three. You could always say a, always a reason and season or purple sticker book, I'll get it either way. And then the last item is the classic collection edition three sticker book. You can say the coral sticker, sticker book. I'm not gonna be crazy about the names. I know sometimes they kind of blend all in together. So anyway, those are all the items. I hope you guys are excited about these. I'm, I've been like planning these and I've been super excited about them. So I'm hoping that you guys are loving them as much as I am and I can't wait to see who wins. So anyway, again, make sure to, you know, post and let me know what you guys think about these items and I will see you guys next time. Bye guys.